Thursday. Thanks, Matt. Good day at the beach. A sculpture contest for beach lovers happening. 30 teams of sand artists dug in at Grand Haven City Beach today. The teams had two hours to create their sculptures, and as you can see, the contest goes a lot further than your yeah. basic run-of-the-mill sandcastle. A lot of people do pop culture items. Um, we've had Asian carp. We've had um, tributes to Michael Jackson. So the sand sculptures were judged on theme, originality, and difficulty. And it's a big weekend for country music fans in West Michigan. Tens of thousands of music lovers are packing the U.S. 131 Motorsports Park in Martin for this year's B93 Birthday Bash. Headliners include Dirks Bentley, Montgomery Gentry, and Gloriana. The bash is happening all weekend long. All the tickets are general admission. If you'd like to check it out tomorrow, doors open at 10 in the morning. Also on now, Founders Fest in downtown Grand Rapids. Founders Brewing celebrating 15 years in the business with its annual festival. Festival goers are enjoying live music, food, and of course, beer. Festival goes until 11 tonight. It's happening on the streets in and around Founders. That's on Granville Avenue. The gates enter to enter the festival are near the intersection of Granville and Cherry. And a reminder, this is a cash only event. But if you didn't enjoy local festivals today, you may have been one of the thousands of people who participated in this year's Meyer State Games. Jason Terzis joins us next with highlights. Stay with us. My Buick Enclave is filled with innovations that make it incredibly intelligent, like smart slide seating and a power lift gate. But all people seem to remember is how good it looks. I can relate. If you don't know the smart and sexy Enclave, you don't know Buick. Current non-GM lessees celebrate Independence Day and lease this 2012 Buick Enclave for around $2.59 per month. See your West Michigan Buick dealer today. The people of West Michigan have spoken and Subway restaurants heard us loud and clear. Once the votes were all counted, one delicious sub prevailed over all the others. And that sub is the Italian BMT. If you voted for the Italian BMT, then you good citizen are officially a winner. Actually, we're all winners, because now through June 30th, a 6-inch Italian BMT is just 3 bucks. Stop by any participating Subway restaurant today and experience the sweet taste of victory with a 6-inch Italian BMT for just 3 bucks. Subway, eat fresh. The legislature you elected voted against a government bridge to Canada we don't need and can't afford. Now Governor Snyder wants to go around them and build his bridge anyway. To heck with the legislature. Tolls won't pay for it. Taxpayers will be stuck paying a hundred million dollars. Now there's a constitutional amendment to save taxpayers millions and stop the government bridge unless the voters approve. Governor Snyder, remember we the people? It's time you listen to us. Pizza Hut knows that it's important for all of us in West Michigan to get a great value for our money. Get any Pizza Hut pizza, any crust, any topping for just $10. Your favorite pizza with your favorite topping for dine-in, carry-out, or delivery. It's not a limited time offer and no coupon is required. From Grand Rapids to South Haven and from Muskegon to Battle Creek, you could get your favorite Pizza Hut pizza for just $10. Remember, any pizza, any topping, any crust for just $10 every day at Pizza Hut. It is Michigan's version of the Olympic Games, and it's happening right here on the west side of the state. Third annual Myers State Games of Michigan taking center stage this weekend. The track and field competition happening at East Kentwood High School, where a lot of eyes are on this young lady right here. 14-year-old Potter's House, a soon-to-be ninth grader, Sakaya Bracey. This is her finishing the first leg of the 4 by 100 and she won that group. And then uh, in the 100-meter flying by the competition, she also competed in the 200-meter dash and long jump. Sakaya is the 2012 Indoor High School state champion in the 60-meter race. Um, I do this because you know, it's kind of my hometown near Grand Rapids. Representing Grand Rapids, show them my talent so they can know what talent they have here and support that talent. So that's why I ran here also. My dream, I really want to go to the Olympics and beat Flojo, who is my role model. And even though I look up to her, it's just going to go down with that. 
14 years old, it's going to go down like that. you got to love it. Well, meanwhile, at the Rockford Freshman Center, Archery taking center stage. Fremont's Glenn Myers, former U.S. Olympian from the 1984 team, participating today. He runs the Junior Olympic Club in Rockford. One of the many participants out there is Michaela Vernum of Rockford. She's the grand national champion in her age division, and like so many other events in the state, uh, the state games, it continues to grow and evolve. I mean, this is probably the best tournament in, in the region at this point because we have, I mean, you hear the music, we, we have that, so that that's exciting. The field layout is wonderful. Um, Rockford Public Schools gives us a wonderful facility here to hold it in. Um, and at Cornerstone University, Taekwondo is all the rage. Over 250 participants. This is Dan Duba of Grand Rapids putting on a demonstration for those in attendance. And then uh, a little bit later, we get to Lemon Williams. Lemons of Grand Rapids that used to work with us here at Wood TVA. Check out this kick. Eight feet, two inches, and Lemon nails it. He's a third-degree black belt. Also in attendance, Grand Master Ty Z Park. He was a former world champion in the 1960s. Came to the U.S. in 1974 and is personally responsible for producing over 60 masters and nearing the 5,000 black belt member mark. Oh, this is an awesome opportunity for anyone in the state of Michigan to, pr to participate in events in multiple sports, especially Taekwondo uh, in Grand Rapids, because a lot of times the events are outside uh, in the bigger cities, Detroit, Chicago. So it's great to have an event in Grand Rapids, Michigan. From the state games, we head to the Diamond. Tigers have won four straight series, but to make it five, they've got their work cut out for them after losing last night to the Pittsburgh Pirates. 4-1 the final last night. Tigers now on the short end of a game happening right now at beautiful PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tigers managing just one hit over the first six innings against Pirate pitcher Brad Lincoln. He had seven strikeouts through the first six innings. There he gets Prince Fielder. Fourth inning, Max Scherzer serving it up to Andrew McCutcheon, who's got to be one of the best young players in the game right now. Three-run bomb for McCutcheon. But he plays with the Pirates, a team that's had 19 straight losing seasons, so you don't hear too much about the guy. It's a 3-0 Pittsburgh lead. Miguel Cabrera then in the seventh, his 15th home run of the season. Tigers uh, getting a little bit closer, but they still trail at 3-1 as they play in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Well, West Michigan has another Olympian as Rockford High School alum Dathan Ritzenhine has qualified for the London Games. Ritzenhine finishing third in last night's qualifying run in the 10,000 meters, and he did so, as you can see, in the pouring rain. It's out in Eugene, Oregon. He had to not only finish in the top three, which he did, but he also had to meet the Olympic qualifying standard time of 27 minutes and 45 seconds. And Dathan beat that time by nine seconds, finishing in 27 minutes, 36 seconds. This will be his third Olympic Games. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of pressure, you know, because top three doesn't mean anything if you don't have that A standard. And uh, I just had battled injuries for the last two years and had a couple surgeries. So I knew that uh, I needed to put it out there and, and get the time. And yeah, I couldn't have done it without Galen. I mean, that was the plan going in. We're going to trade off. And I owe him big time. I owe him for helping me get on this team. So not bad for Mr. Rissenheim, third straight Olympic Games. And, you know, some of these kids participating here in the state games, you know, with aspirations of getting to the Olympics. So we'll see. Look at that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Great. Thanks, Jason. Mm -hmm. We'll stay with us, Matt. See you next with another look at your eight-day forecast. This month, Gun Lake Casino gives you the royal treatment and more ways to win. With cash giveaways almost every day. On Sundays, you can win up to 50 grand in our royal deal drawings. Or win your share of another 50,000 in our royal cash giveaways. On Fridays, you can grab 500 bucks every 30 minutes. And we're giving seniors the royal treatment with cash drawings every Monday. Plus, half off at the Sand Hill Cafe and two times points. It's all at Gun Lake Casino. So many giveaways so close by. Yeah. Don't miss Logan's three-course steak dinner for two. Choose a mouth-watering appetizer and delicious dessert to share. Plus, choose two of our five signature hand-cut Black Angus sirloins for just $22.99. If you love the flavor of a hot, fresh, juicy steak grilled over real mesquite wood, nothing tastes better than Logan's three-course steak dinner for two. And at $22.99, there's no better value. At Logan's, the real American road. Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale, West Michigan's premier destination for all your gardening needs, has begun their end of spring clearance sale. Hurry in now for great savings on all our beautiful flowering annuals, hanging baskets, trees, shrubs, perennials, and a whole lot more all on sale. Fantastic deals can be found in every department throughout the entire greenhouse. Hurry in now for the best selection. Countryside Greenhouse, as always, committed to the highest quality at the very lowest price. 
Pizza Hut knows that it's important for all of us in West Michigan to get a great value for our money. Get any Pizza Hut pizza, any crust, any topping for just $10. Your favorite pizza with your favorite topping for dine-in, carry-out, or delivery. It's not a limited time offer and no coupon is required. From Grand Rapids to South Haven and from Muskegon to Battle Creek, you could get your favorite Pizza Hut pizza for just $10. Remember, any pizza, any topping, any crust for just $10 every day at Pizza Hut. Well, it won't be a great sunset this evening with a lot of clouds out there, but we'll stay dry for Sunday, though. Cold front move through. That'll give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms, although I think for most of us, we'll stay dry for most of the day. Behind that cold front, just cool off for Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the 70s and enjoy it because the heat will certainly build across the area. Uh, it looks like temperatures uh, close to 90 on Wednesday into the 90s Thursday and Friday. 94 on Thursday. That would be some serious heat. And one of the forecast models is looking at it actually gives us hotter temperatures than 94. So stay tuned. One of them likes the hot weather, but we need the rain. <laughs> exactly. It's a really dry pattern. Right. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back tonight at 10 and 11. Have a good evening. Talk back and stay involved, like the 24-Hour News 8 Facebook page. Another way we're watching out for you.